Hey there, I just wanted to come on and say hi, happy new year, and thank you to all of you that are subscribed and support by watching the videos on my channel. Today I'm sharing my craft room, which includes another cube storage makeover and an easy DIY craft table that is super simple to make. If this is your first time here, I'm Mindy, and I like finding creative ways to customize my home and sharing those DIY tutorials with you to help you find inspiration and ideas. So go ahead and subscribe and let's get started. So here's a look at my craft space before. This is the third and hopefully final time I am changing this area. Over the last two years, I've been trying to find a balance between having enough storage and a surface area to craft on. And yes, I'll be doing some decluttering. <laughs> I enlisted the help of my husband, which is a rare event, to move all the furniture so we could start with a clean space. Since this is our upstairs loft area, which is open, I decided that the best use of the space would be stacking my cube or organizers, which you see I have three of here, um, stacking them vertically against that back wall. So of course the first rule of organizing is removing everything from the space and as you can see I just had so much clutter. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to share but it is what it is. So as part of my last attempt at making this space better, I had added caster wheels to this eight cube shelf. So I removed those and I'm going to repurpose them for the craft table. And the wood you see on the front there is just a piece of plywood that I attached using a piano hinge. So once we had that first piece in place, I added a piece, a thin piece of plywood to level out the top and if you watch my kitchen island video you'll understand why I did that. So once that was in place we went ahead and added the two smaller cubes and then did a little shuffling to make sure this was all centered under that shelf on the wall. And now for the fun part. Since I didn't have bins for all of the smaller cubes, I decided to add some doors. And shout out to my sister-in-law Jojo for helping me decide to use pegboards instead of plain paneling for the doors. So I got one 4x4 piece of pegboard and had it cut down to 15 inch strips at the hardware store. And when I got home I cut them into 15 inch squares which fit perfectly for these Walmart cubes. And so I also picked up some paint stir sticks which I cut down to create a border and this is more uh, to create an extra surface area for the screws that I'll be adding to attach hinges. I used wood glue to attach the paint sticks and after doing some research left these clamped overnight to make sure everything bonded well. Do not be stingy with the glue here. And once the glue was all dry, I painted the doors black and I just used some leftover black paint, which includes a primer. To attach my doors, I used these two and a half inch utility hinges that I found at Walmart. 
and you will want to pre-drill the holes in the pegboard because the material tends to swell as you twist the screws in. It did take a couple of tries to get these inner doors on so that they don't overlap. Um, so instead of keeping the hinge here on the edge where it is, I did end up moving it in just a little bit. And it does help to have another set of hands for this part. Now that the storage is out of the way, let's work on the craft table. I'll have all the wood measurements on the screen so you can pause and copy or you can check the description box as well. Of course, you can always adjust the measurements according to your space. So for this craft table, I reused the piece of plywood that was serving as my desktop, as well as some one by three furring strip boards because I wanted to keep this super low budget. But if you plan on keeping anything really heavy on this, you may want to use a thicker wood. So to create the table legs, I first attached the shortest board to the plywood using wood glue and screws. And I'm just using one and a quarter inch pocket screws because it's what I had on hand, but just regular wood screws would do just fine. I also made sure to measure the legs, measure the spacing on each end to make sure that the legs were at the same distance from the end of the table. Once the short piece was attached, I added the two longest boards on either side of it so that they are glued to both the tabletop and the shorter board. And because this wood is so soft, I did try to pre-drill wherever I could. Then I added the next short piece, which fits across both ends of the long pieces at the bottom. I also added a longer board to the center right underneath the tabletop for some extra support. And added supports to each leg, as well as one more board along the back side of the table. So here is the final look of my craft room slash craft space, craft area, whatever you want to call it. And you can see I added the caster wheels that I had already, that I had removed from the cube organizer. And I painted the tabletop black to match the cube shelf doors. I'll end up adding more pegboard organizers to the door as needed. And I'll still need to get hardware for these legs. <laughs> for my temporary desk here. I do want to get rid of this black cart once I figure out what to do with my paint supplies. And I did also add a few hooks to the table to maximize the function and added magnets to the pegboard doors to keep them secure. I hope this gave you some ideas if you're looking to create a functional craft room or if you're just looking for ways to update your cube storage organizers. 
be sure to like this video if you enjoyed these ideas and leave a comment if you want to see another cube storage hack. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> <Too funny. laughs> oh shoot, did I not record?